After a couple nights in Bali and a domestic flight to Labuan Bajo, we made it to Flores. We jumped on board the Tanaka, which would be our home for the next three nights, and set sail for what would be my favorite adventure yet. We ditched any clothes or slippers, traded them for bikinis and fins, and got in the water as quick as we could. Our first stop was this incredible island that we would soon realize we had all to ourselves. As the sun was starting to go down, we head up the hill in search of the best view. We did a happy dance and just could not wrap our heads around how beautiful this place was. We kept heading up and were welcomed by this beauty. Where are we sleeping tonight? Uh, we'll be in uh, Gililawadara, which is totally north of Comoro Island. Excuse the transition, guys, but can I just say, waking up to the sound of the ocean gently slapping the boat has got to be one of my new favorite things, and walking out to this view was the cherry on top. Flores is made up of a group of islands in the eastern half of Indonesia and is part of Komodo National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Because it's protected, Flores is known to be one of the most marine biodiverse places in the world. On the agenda for today was getting to explore its islands and waters in all their glory. We then spent the rest of the afternoon jumping off the boat in the middle of Turtle City until the sun went down again.
The next day we started before the sun came up and we trekked up to the park's most popular spot, Padar Island. It was a special morning for me, not just because this is a place that has been on my bucket list for a really long time and we were surrounded by our friends, but because it was my first morning as this guy's fiance. I'll never forget it, there was a special magic in the air this morning that would carry through for the rest of the day, making this particular day one of my favorites to date. And here's one of the reasons why. If you know me at all, you wouldn't be surprised that I was screaming with excitement and may have even shed a tear or two. Dolphins are one of my ultimate favorite animals and there's just something so magical about seeing them wild and free how they should be. This particular pod swam towards our dinghy and it was almost as if they wanted to play with us. The moment had to be celebrated, so we cracked open some cold bintangs and reveled in the fact that the dolphins could still be close by, so we put on a show for them. I told you this day just kept getting better. This beautiful manta came as a surprise as we were heading out to look for turtles. There were a couple boats around so we tried to keep our distance but for some reason this guy kept popping up next to our boat and even let me have a little moment with him before we went our separate ways. We then head back to the Tanaka in high spirits and we're told to get ready for a surprise. How does it feel guys? Amazing! It's great! <laughs> How is uh, day one? First day of being engaged, literally. What did you do today? We did the most amazing things. We swam with manta rays, we swam with turtles. We woke up in paradise and now we are watching the sun go down in another paradise. Damn. Sunsets have always been the highlight of my everyday and there really is nothing better than moments like this with the people you love. They set up bean bags and drinks for us on the roof deck and the feeling of pure happiness was mutual across the board. And just when we thought it couldn't get any better, the surprise started. At first we thought they were birds, but it quickly dawned on us that they were bats, hundreds and thousands of them making their way from one island to another in search of food. An awe-inspiring natural sight that happens every day, once at dusk and again at dawn. Kalong Island seems like an aptly named place considering that Kalong in local Bahasa means, you guessed it, that. Oh, oh, oh! 
Then the amazing crew on board threw us a farewell party and shared some incredible stories with us and some pretty slick dance moves too. Okay, back to regular programming. On our last morning, we woke up docked here, close enough to Labuan Bajo so we could have enough time to enjoy the incredible blue waters and landscape that Flores has to offer. We only have a couple more hours before we have to pack up and leave, so we are all going to go and take one last dip Flores, you have been amazing. We cannot wait to be back already and you will always have a very, very special place in my heart. <laughs>